Hey, want to have a screaming contest? No thanks, I don't want to have a screaming contest. Well I am going to make you do a screaming contest whether you like it or not. So do one with me or else you won't like what I will do to you if you refuse. Ugh. Fine, I'll do one with you then if that's how it's gonna be. That's more like it. Okay, get ready and start screaming in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What? Uh... Freaking screaming, you idiot. Do not call me an idiot, you idiot. Idiot, idiot, idiot. I don't care, idiot, 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 I don't care, you're an idiot, I don't give a, a big fat monkey. stinking idiot, 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 idiot. Children, what on earth is going on here? What is all the commotion and all this racket? Chara called me an idiot. Only because you called me an idiot first. You're the one who started it. I did not. You did too. Alright that is enough. I don't care who started it. Stop bickering at once the pair of you or else you will both be grounded. Do I make myself clear? Yes ma'am. You got it dude. Well I'm glad we got that settled. Now play nice you too. This has got to be the most crappiest job I have ever been forced to work in. I am so pissed, oh for God's sake, here comes a customer. Okay, now it's time to act polite and friendly. Good morning and what can I do for you? I would like to pay for my items please thank you. Okay I will just put them through for you and then you can pay, your total is $30. Here is $40, I give you this and you give me $10 back okay? Okay, thank you and here is your $10 note which I will give to you as I am a really friendly member of staff who cares very much for the customers. Now I pack my shopping away and then check $10 note you gave back to me okay? Do what you like lady. Is there something wrong? This $10 note is fake, I refuse to accept it, going till now and get me a real $10 note you disgraceful fish lady. What? How dare you, I checked that $10 note before I gave it to you and it is most certainly not fake. It is fake, I know a fake $10 note when I see one, now you go in your till and get me a real $10 note, or else I will report you to your supervisor and you will be fired from your job and you will have no money and you live on streets and be homeless like my uncle Punjab was back in 1998 before he became very rich after he stole a lottery ticket and won 50 billions on it as it had the correct numbers of the lottery that weekend. I'm sorry lady but unless you make another purchase I cannot open the till and give you a $10 note which I won't do as that one is not fake. God, how thick are you? Do as I say and give me a real $10 note or I put a curse on you. Oh fuck off. Aw, oh, this is the life. Oh man, I really need to go to the bathroom. I ate some hot chili tacos and now my butt is on fire. What the? Oh hey there kid, don't mind me. What? Uh, 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 uh. Ugh. I can't believe what I just witnessed. Now I will probably have that image in my head for the rest of my life. Oh hey, it's my dad's special juice. He drinks this stuff whenever he's had a stressful day and wants to forget about all the bad things. Hey, maybe if I drink some, I will probably forget about what I just witnessed in the bathroom just now. I wonder what it tastes like. Well, there is only one way to find out. Yuck, that tasted awful and now I feel sick and weird. Everything is spinning around. I guess I shouldn't have drunk my dad's special juice. Ugh! I think I am going to faint. 
Blimey, it's so windy out here. I hope that I won't get blown away by this really strong wind, because I am so small and I can easily get blown away. Oh, no! Can I ask you something? Why do you still have all your clothes on in the swimming pool? I thought you're supposed to only wear a bathing suit when you go in the pool. Oh I would only I'm too lazy to even change into a bathing suit. Besides, swimming in your clothes is pretty cool. Want to give it a try? Ugh. You must be joking you smiley trash bag. I'm still traumatized from yesterday when I saw you taking a bath in our bathtub. What were you doing in there anyway? Well Papyrus used up all the hot water in our house so I just asked your parents if I could use theirs and they said yes, I didn't expect you to walk in and I'm sorry that I gave you quite a shock. Personally, I blame those chili tacos, if they hadn't been so spicy then maybe my butt wouldn't have been burning and I wouldn't have needed to go to the bathroom, you know what? I think I will find a random plate of tacos and ground them, just because I'm bored really and I blame them for making me walk in on you in the bath. Oh 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 oh, spicy tacos, how dare you be really spicy and cause my butt to be on fire that I needed to go to the bathroom only to walk in on since having a bath in there, and giving me such a shock that I'll probably won't get that image out of my head, that does it, you are grounded 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 for two infinity and beyond, now sit there and do absolutely nothing because you're just a worthless bunch of tacos, I am far superior than every single one of you, you are all a bunch of idiots.